This is the home here in Mount Oliver. I want you to take a look at the conditions on the porch. Investigators say what you're seeing here is nothing compared to what they were dealing with inside. This is one of the most dangerous rescues that we've ever had. The animals are very sick. Inside this Mount Oliver home, police say 29 cats and one dog lived in feces filled rooms where urine soaked the floors, making it difficult to even breathe. The levels of ammonia are extremely high. We used a, a device to measure the levels of ammonia. As we got higher into the house, they became fatally high. It's extremely dangerous. This house is dangerous, not just for the animals, it's, it's dangerous for, for the humans. Yet police say this woman, 60 year old Diane Derbish, lived here too. She was urinating in a bucket and relieving herself in a bucket and jars inside of the home. There's no running water. As you can see, her legs are covered in scratches and bites. We knew it was bad, but just didn't realize how bad it was. Elder Justin Penitzer worked in the church across the street and says he and neighbors tried to help. You can smell it, you can look on the outside and everything else. Police say they have stepped in before too, but this time they are seizing all of her animals to save them and sending her to the hospital for her own health. It takes your breath away when you first enter. Although officials removed 30 animals, they know that there are more and they set some traps. In fact, we can see one right now laying underneath this wicker couch. So officials say they will be back. At this point, the homeowner is being charged with a list of crimes, including animal cruelty. In Mount Oliver, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.